I'm Keith Gillespie, you're watching Mariners TV. It's only a fantastic night. Yeah, it certainly was. Um, you know, look, I know there'll be a lot made of what's gone on before tonight, but I'm just going to talk about tonight and um, I just thought to a man, we were absolutely different class tonight and uh, every single person stepped up the plate and, and, and showed, you know, what we're, well, we together showed what we're capable of to, tonight. I thought we were, we were absolutely fantastic. A couple of little changes there with Michael coming in and obviously Gav coming in as well. What was the yeah. sort of thinking behind that? Yeah, well, we just we just thought that uh, we changed the shape as well. Um, we just felt that, you know, we've been here before already this season. We know it's a really big pitch. Um, the, you know, the pitches, as you can see, is is, is cut up quite badly uh, as, the, as the games progress. We just felt like loading the top end with, with as much pace as we possibly could. Um, you know, if... And, and trying to trying to hurt them um, with that pace against against their back four, which you know I think worked worked really well tonight. Um, but the lads at the top end only got those opportunities because you know the eight nine players that they had behind them were you know were, were different class. Gav two goals. How pleased with him today? Yeah, no, I mean, you know a lot of people forget that you know the, the run that we've been on as a side has been despite the fact that. We've had the likes of Gavin Cogden and, you know, a lot of big players for this football club who've, who've spent, you know, sustained periods of time out with injury. I think we've been particularly unlucky up until this point with the number and the seriousness of, of the injuries that we've had in our squad. Um, and, you know, Gavin, give everybody a taste of, of what, we've, what, we've, what we've missed over, over, over the last two, two, three months, really. David Foley, with another two goals there. He's been in great yeah, form for weeks, hasn't no, he? he has. He's been... He's been brilliant. I thought Michael Richardson was absolutely superb tonight as well. Um, well, look, it's almost wrong for me to pick pick individuals out because I thought there were so many really strong performances tonight. And they were on the fans tonight as well. So many of them came down despite yeah, the late notice. I thought notes. they were magnificent. But the fans were magnificent. Um, I think uh, you know they really, really got behind the lads tonight, which which helps and. And I know the vast majority of the time that they, they, they do anyway. You know, we hear the odd, the odd murmur uh, when we're at home at times when things aren't quite going exactly our way. And um, again, you know, it's a, it's a two, it, it always is a two-way relationship. We've got to give the fans something to shout about, and then hopefully that's reciprocated, and uh, and we can kind of work together to to try and get the most out of. Most out of our performances, um, but yeah, you know, hats off to the fans. They were, they were brilliant tonight. Got team sold in the next round. Do you know much about them? Nothing, not at this stage. But we will do. Mm -hmm. We will do. Come, uh, come, kick off um, in two and a bit weeks' time. Um, so you know, it's a, we're just focused on looking forwards, mm -hmm. um, and you know, we'll do our homework on them. Um, I think I'm, I'm just particularly proud of, of, of how, despite everything else that's been going on, I'm particularly proud of how we've prepared over the last three, four days as a whole team, as a management team, as a squad, uh, backroom staff, um, and how that was executed tonight. Um, I'm probably as proud as I have been all, all season. And just finally, match on Saturday, we know plenty about them. It's fourth meeting this season. What, what's your thoughts on that game? Yeah, well, you know, we said it straight after the, the final whistle in the change rooms. We've we've got to draw a line under that completely tonight now, and um, we've got to focus on on our meat and drink, so to speak. Um, three points at stake, three massive points at stake. Um, we've got to we've got to look after ourselves over the next two three days. Really prepare, you know, as equally as well for Saturday's game, and uh, and you know and. If we can, if we can get our levels anywhere near we had them tonight, then then we've got a real strong chance of picking up another three points.